good morning. So here's the situation. We're supposed to check out today. We've prepared our stuff that we will bring to Bohol last night. But the news about the storm is all over the news. And we are not sure if our trip to Bohol will be canceled or not. I sent a message to the hotel where we will stay at, but no one was replying. So last night, after we prepared our stuff, we went to bed not knowing if our trip will be canceled or what. We just kept looking at the news, seeing what's the latest updates, that's all. But we decided to just wake up early, try to call the ferry, try to call the hotel and see if we can get any information. So we woke up early today and we tried calling and calling. No one was answering. And then until it was past 8 already, we just decided to just continue with it, prepare our stuff, take a bath. I took a bath first while Hubby is still contacting. And around 8.30, finally, someone from the ferry answered our call and they confirmed that trip is not cancelled however the sea is rough and I don't want to risk that and then while hubby is taking a bath I receive a message from the hotel through Agoda because I booked the hotel through Agoda they said that there's going to be a power interruption in the entire province of Bohol and I'm like I cannot stay or spend my holiday in Bohol without power and they said there's no internet connection and I'm like I cannot <laughs> so that was it and I was like, okay, there is too much uncertainty on this. So let us just cancel the trip. It's sad because we planned a lot of things and really in advance. And we tried to go to three provinces in Mindanao and three provinces in Visayas and three provinces in Luzon. That's how we want to do our Philippine holiday. Sadly, it's going to just be two provinces here in Visayas. One in Cebu and one in Aklan because Bohol has to be canceled. We decided to extend our stay here where we are staying right now because it's conveniently located. Habi is now at the pier trying to get a refund of our ferry tickets because they said the only way you can get a refund is for you to go to the counter station at the pier. It sucks that the process is like that but there's nothing we can do. We don't want to waste the money we use for buying those tickets so hubby is there right now. I think we will not get the full refund. I think there's a 20% surcharge if you cancel it before the departure. If it departed, I think 30% something like that. I also arranged the cancellation with the hotel at Bohol. Unfortunately, they can give full refund well they said they will try with a quota but it would take months and so the other option they gave me is to keep a credit and I was like okay maybe I'll just give it to my mom and my sister they can have a trip in Bohol it's so weird that it's summer but we're having this so much weather interruption it's supposed to be the best time to travel here in the Philippines maybe it's not meant for us things happen and maybe we just stay here in Cebu and do a little tour or see some places and maybe I can get a haircut. So I guess this is it. It's official. Bohol is cancelled. Cebu is extended and we'll see what else we're going to do here in Cebu before we fly to Boracay and hopefully yeah, <laughs> hopefully our trip to Boracay will be okay because there's another storm brewing. <sighs> All right. Good morning. Now we are going to a Santanini church to visit the Santanini. Ah, uh, para kanina yung kanakita mo kasi instead na ikaw ang magdasal, uh, pinapadasal mo, ay napasinulog mo yung ano yung dasal.
siya. Kasi nga ito, it's a Saturday niya, diba? Sinulog dito. I'm not sure ha, pero mas okay daw yung sila yung magdasal for you. Parang ganun, pinapasinulog mo yung dasal sa kanila. And it's like 100 pesos that yung kandila daw yung binabayaran for that. So, libre na daw yung dasal. So, okay naman siya. Parang mas magiging okay lang din yung dasal mo at makatulong na rin yun sa kanila. here it was so crowded now we're back here still in pandemic still after the recovery from the recent typhoon here in Cebu but we're glad that we're back with less crowd yeah I like before like too much no and crowded. even there's a storm it's pleasant weather <laughs> yeah for some reason so my mask is around five mm. so in a way it's good that the whole trip was cancelled so we were able to do this because if not we weren't able to visit this place Dati nagpabar ko lang kami, diba? Yung mga bata, bata pa, baby pa kami. And then, pagpumpun na kami dito uh, as family. Ang pinakauna talaga pagka, pagkadating sa Sabu, pumunta talaga kami dito. At saka, ang dami daming pila nito kung di, ano, papunta sa loob. Kasi, nandun yung Santo Nino na parang na miraculous na na siya na ng Santo Nino. So, nandun siya sa loob. Kasi, hindi natin makikita kasi it's closed. And then, what happens there when you get there? Ano, mag-touch ka sa Santo Nino and then, ano ka lang, mag-dasal. Actually, I still have the, ano, the tissue before na yung pumunta tayo dito. I still have it sa, ano ko, sa bag. Nandun siya sa bag. Pick siya na ngayon eh. So, yun yung pinagpunas ko dito sa Santo Nino. Tapos, i-keep mo yun. Uh, parang maninumana ka lang na it's ano, give you or good luck or ano man yung pinagdasal mo ay yun ganun, para safe ka ganun. yung mga um, binili ko before dito nandun, nandun ka rin siya so dinadala ko yun nandun sa bag ko dahil wala akong panyo, it's supposed to be panyo eh. so dati wala akong panyo dala nun so yung wet tissue dito yun, yun yung pinampunas ko dito tapos kinip ko lang siya baka meron kasi yeah, may mga tao I will try kita na si Gooder pero it's close na nga lang kasi nga may, may white na tala so we can still go there ito yung way papunta dito diba just before haba haba na kami na ko dito pumila ko dito before so malaba So it's donation lang kung ang kami yung bibigay niya. So yun lang. So 
that we're done here at the uh, Basilica. Hubby was able to visit the church, pray at the church, visit the Santo Nino, do the Pasinulog, and put some candles, offer some prayers for all the blessings and safety. Hubby is practicing Catholic faith, and I truly support him on that. And he believes in the Catholic tradition, and there's nothing wrong about that. Having faith is important. Kaya Dalawa <laughs> Good afternoon. So we're on our way to the Temple of Leia and another nice hangout area nearby, which is the Tops Lookout. It's an overlooking view of the city. So we're gonna check it out. We're on our way there. You grew up here in Cebu, also, right? I grew up in Talisay. So my father is from Subangdaku, Mandau. It's not far from here, and my relatives are also from. You're half Cebuano? Yeah. <laughs> I'm half uh, Cebuano and Tudayan. And one fourth, one fourth. Manila, Thailand. Wow. <laughs> Temple of Leia. It's so beautiful in person. We're always seeing this in pictures, but it's way different from looking at it right in front of your eyes. It's a little drizzling here. We're at the top of the mountain. We're overlooking Cebu and it's so beautiful in the evening because there are some lights. In the morning it's just plain, but we love the dramatic effect of the lights here. So we're just gonna explore this place. It was a quick ride. I think it was just around 20 minutes from our hotel. If India has a mausoleum built as a symbol of undying love, which is called Taj Mahal, and I think everyone knows that, Temple of Leia is the version of the Philippines which is found here in Cebu. This Temple of Leia is a gesture of love of Teodorico Soriano Adarna to his late wife Leia Albino Adarna, which is his life partner for 53 years. And if you're not familiar with these people, which I'm not also, but I found out that they are the grandparents of Filipina actress Ellen Adarna and owner of motel chain Queensland here in Cebu. Temple of Leia is tucked in Cebu City's Highland Barangay of Busay and it was constructed in 2012. It has 24 chambers that houses an art gallery, museum, library and bar among others and it's also adorned if you can see with life-sized statues of roman gladiators i think there's also some lions and some angels if you look around temple of leia is 
open to public from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. And if you don't have a car, you can get here via public transport or you can charter a motorcycle or a taxi just like what we did. And if you want to avoid a crowd, come here during the opening or closing period. And, and this is what happened to us also. This is the closing period already and it's just us and one group. Here now at the top of Cebu, we're just gonna have a look, quick look of the city. This is way beautiful in person. So we're now entering uh, Temple of Leia and Tops. I forgot the name, but it's overlooking Cebu. It was beautiful, it's just so dark. And after that, we return here at the city. We asked our driver to drop us off at Ayala Mall again. Supposedly at the Ayala block, but there was some confusion. So we ended up getting dropped off here at Ayala Mall, which is okay. So we're just gonna cross to our hotel after. We're gonna have dinner now. We're here at Cafe Laguna. Laguna, Cafe Laguna. We wanted to try it because Habi saw there's a fresh lumpia. Fresh lumpia batalje. So we're gonna try this. We, we keep seeing this restaurant here in Cebu. So we thought maybe their food is good. So we're just gonna try. But we're not too hungry. So we decided to just try all of, not all, but some of their nice Filipino meriendas like lumpia, pancit, palabo. What else did we order? We also ordered the bingka, chicken arroz caldo. Mga, Filipino merienda. So that's going to be our dinner. It's our last dinner here in Cebu. Tomorrow we'll fly to Boracay. It's still raining. Rain has been following us since we started our holiday. Alright, let's eat. I was here last night in Cebu. Oh. Nice dinner. Actually, the result amazing because of the food. I love the bibingka, the fresh lumpia, and I'm not really into halabo, but it's actually masarap, right? And also the pickles. Ah, that is kind of the best. So let's pack. That's it. <laughs> so, so. And I have a big tummy. And I want to sleep. And let's hug. <laughs> I want to see my teeth. <laughs> that wraps our Cebu trip. Supposedly the first and the starting point of our Visayas adventure. And moving to Bohol, but Bohol didn't happen this year. Maybe it's not meant to be. So we're off to our second Visayas destination tomorrow. Just check some videos on in Instagram. What's the latest in Boracay and it's raining and there are flood. Yes. So we don't know what's going to happen with this vacation, but we're going to keep staying positive and optimistic that we'll finally get the sun that we've been looking for for this summer holiday. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna pack, get some sleep, and tomorrow before we leave, I still have some calls, and then we're off to Boracay. All right, good night. Today is the last day here in Cebu. We just left the room and we're going down now to check out. We just arrived here at the airport. We're here now inside the airport. It's a beautiful airport. We had a problem. We forgot to...